Welcome to your Tutor Online Video Lessons. My name is Joel, and today I'll teach you how to factor the difference of two squares. Uh, first, you'll recognize the difference of two squares when we have two numbers uh, which are perfect squares, and they have the um, minus sign in between the two of them. And I'll just show you the simple pattern. It's something like a squared minus b squared. Whenever you do see that pattern, you can go ahead and factor it. Uh, by taking the a and the b and putting them this way. a plus b in one set of parentheses and right next to it a minus b in another set of parentheses. All right. The easiest way to make sense of all this is with a simple example. So I'm going to start with 4x squared minus 9y squared. I'm going to go ahead and put our simple pattern up here so we can refer to it. a squared minus b squared uh, factors down to a plus b a minus b. Okay. As long as it matches our pattern we can go ahead and apply the pattern for factoring uh, but we're not quite there yet. Uh, we do have two terms that are squared uh, with a minus sign in between the two, uh, but our pattern shows is just a single term minus a single term. Um, that uh, is pretty close, um, but we can get exactly uh, the same by just changing the 4x a little bit to 2x squared and changing the 9y squared to a 3y squared. And I do that just to show you what's going on here in the pattern is that the original um, is what you see but then the a when we apply the pattern is the square root of the original. So here 4x squared the square root of that is 2x. The square root of 9y squared is 3y. So this is actually your a and your b. Once you know what your a and your b is from the difference of squares you can just simply apply the pattern and get your factored answer. So a is 2x, b is 3y, so we'll look at our pattern here. a, uh, which in this example is 2x, plus b, in our example is 3y, and another set of parentheses, 2x minus 3y. Okay. If ever you go ahead and do factoring and you're not sure if you have the right answer, you can always uh, go back and multiply out your answer and see if you get the original question. In this case, because we have two terms, we're going to FOIL, first, outer, inner, last. So our first term is 2x and 2x, which is 4x squared. Our outer term, 2x and negative uh, 3y, is negative 6xy. Our inner term gives us positive 6xy minus 6 plus 6 cancels out. And the last term, positive 3 times negative 3. Um, positive times negative is a negative. 3 times 3 is 9. And y times y is y squared. And you see we have 4x squared minus 9y squared is the same as our question. So we factored it correctly. Okay. Sometimes though, looking for these patterns of, um, of factoring is not always immediately obvious. Sometimes you have to do a little bit of work rearranging the terms in order uh, to see one of those factoring patterns, like our difference of squares. I'll show you an example. Say we have 5x cubed minus 45x. Let's compare that to our uh, difference of square pattern, which is a squared minus b squared. Now, a quick first look, we'd say, oh, that doesn't look a whole lot like it. Yeah, it's two terms, and there's a minus sign, but that first term is not a perfect square, and that second term is not a perfect square. So you might just skip it and think that it's not factorable. But you need to remember, the very first thing you do when you're factoring is to take out what is common among all the terms. So we're going to do that first and see what happens. Another way to think of that is what goes into 5x cubed that also goes into 45x, or what do they have in common? Well, 5 and 45, I know that 5 goes into both of those, 
and I see an x cube there and an x there, so an x would uh, go into both of those. I'm going to add a parenthesis. I'm going to ask 5x times what gives me 5x cubed. Well, that answer is just x squared, because the 5 times that gives us 5 up there, x times x squared, add the exponents together and we get that x cubed. I'm going to copy it down our minus sign and ask the same thing over here. 5x times what gives us 45x? You can start with the coefficient. 5 times 9 gives us that 45, and that x is already there, so x times 9 puts the x up there, so we just leave it as 9. Now, do you see the difference of squares? Sure, that matches our pattern exactly. x squared minus 9. 9 is a perfect square, and up there is uh, all our perfect squares. So just go ahead and copy down um, our pattern so we remember a plus b, a minus b. And we can apply the pattern and get our factored answer. I go ahead and copy down the 5x. We don't do anything to it, but we still need to make sure it's there. Now our first one, a is x. Remember, the square root of x squared. b is 3. Remember, the square root of 9. So a, that would be x, plus 3 x minus 3. And that is a simple overview of how to do the difference of squares. And thank you for joining me on this lesson. I hope it was helpful for you. Uh, you can always help me help you by leaving comments on this video, asking questions, or dropping me an email, joel at yourtutoronline.com, just to let me know what you're studying in school right now, so I can make videos that are most helpful to you. Also, go on over to the Facebook page, uh, uh, Your Tutor Online, um, at Facebook, and uh, you can join the discussion there and uh, get to know you a little better. Um, until we meet again, I'll see you next time. Happy studying.